Hola! It's five o'clock at least on the west coast. It's happy hour. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't it be nice if every hour, every minute, every second was happy hour? Well guess what? If you could put that into your intuitive imagination and receive a breath and breathe it in like you're sipping a fine wine or a fine drink that a lot of people do at happy hour. For example, ah, and just slow down the breath, automatically the mind slows down and when the mind slows down, there is a really good shot that your heartbeat slows down. And when your heartbeat slows down and the mind is slowed down and the breath is smooth and even, now we're talking about a little bubbly. A little soul champagne, man. An experience that doesn't come from anything or any substance or any person or anything in this outer 3D ah, delusion land. You know, HD isn't, isn't just high definition. It's heavy delusion too. So happy hour. Congratulations. You know, you might not feel like you need to be congratulated right now or that there's anything to be congratulated for. But you know what? Yes, indeed, because you are that bubbly evanescence of an immortal essence <laughs> called soul if you want to call it soul, call higher self. But man, are you special? Are you spectacular? Are you magnificent? <laughs> are you only, you're the only one, man. There's nobody like you. No one has a personality like you. No one goes about playing the drama like you. No one goes about being a hero maybe in daily life like you. No one talks like you. No one reacts like you. No one dreams like you. You know, your thumbprint is different than every other person's thumbprint. So there's no two thumbprints the same. So you are a unique essence. Everyone is a unique essence and yet we're part of this omnipresent essence. <laughs> of bubbly evanescence, of happiness. You know, I told you in yesterday's love stream that we're about playing the game of divine love fantasy here. We're about playing the game that there's just the now and that the past and the future is just the ever-present past and the ever-present future in the ever-present now. <laughs> and so there really isn't anything but the truth the whole truth and nothing but a truth, but we can certainly pretend, you know? There should be a, a special series on TV called The Pretenders, and it could star you and me, and how much we pretended to have some kind of day-to-day, -day, whatever that looks like. And you know, happy hour is usually that time where you kind of forget that day, you know? People need to turn to something after another hard day of pretending. <laughs> You know, and make believing, and yet believing that the pretending and the make believing is the real deal. You know, in some people's language, and that's called insanity, man. You know, we might we might be the number one planet or HD heavy delusion, high duality or heavy duality planet. We may be the best of them. You know, of all this pretending and all this drama and all this trauma and all this kind of stressing out and when you when you look at the end result there is only only the reality or you might see this this hourglass that's behind me you don't see, uh, that's on my side here of you know just your day getting shattered by something and the sands of just today's energy run out and you see a, a crumbling like castle made of sand if I was to move my chair <laughs> And you just realize, oh my gosh, you know, everything that I make it a big deal, as Shakespeare said, you make a big deal, much ado about nothing. It's really just kind of like dream stuff. You know, it's really just a, it's kind of mind stuff. And really, what I want to talk about in this love stream is how important is this day, my friend? How amazingly if we only knew how precious a moment is, 
how much of a gift of breath is, how much potentiality is underneath all our drama and trauma, and how much there is in living a life in a day. You've heard it said, right? Live only today. Leave tomorrow for tomorrow. And if you live each present moment fully and completely, the future will take care of itself. I mean, really, what is this power of now? What is this power of the sipping slow breath? Ah, like sipping a fine champagne of the soul, bubbly, as slow as you can breathe in. Maybe a little hold at the top to kind of swish that truth around in your mouth. And then, ah, a sigh. And maybe some of this dream experience that we're taking so real goes away a little bit, you know? And we go to the tavern. It used to be called tavern. Now it's so many outdoor bars where I live anyway in Encinitas, California. And, uh, and you know, people just sip it down, man, so that we can forget the day and see if we can pull up a little happiness you know that's the soul the soul in you wants wants you to know how high you are already <laughs> how high on life man <laughs> how high and transcendent and immortal and bubbly and full of ever new ever new ever new joy you know where there's no hangover it just keeps growing and it is real and you feel better and you're healthier and you're happier and you're wiser <laughs> and you're more filled with peace. This is the happy hour for those who are waking up from the synomalism of this dream experience. Don't take it personal, okay? You promise me? Don't take it personal because, you know, this is a, this is a duality that's caused by a, a musician. It's called the mother musician, the mother Maya. She puts this spell on you. She's got this spell on you. It's like being in the poppy fields in the Wizard of Oz, you know? And you kind of feel drugged and fall asleep. So you need a little more caffeine. You little need a little, little, little more of an energy drink to wake up from the poppy fields. There used to be a song in my day that say that breaking up was hard to do. You know, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. No, waking up, baby, is hard to do. But we can do it when you learn about life in a day, okay? My evening broadcast, which I'm pretty serious about considering, will start at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Starting tomorrow. And now uh, East Coasters, 9 o'clock, you, you good. you're good for staying up later. You s seem to stay up later on the East Coast. I don't know. I just kind of felt that, so I said that. But we're going to start an evening, kind of uh, a recap of the day's activities. <laughs> Hello, Rich Nar. Thank you for the three hearts, the three purple hearts, buddy. You earned them. Every soul has earned three purple hearts. <laughs> for being for being in this this world of of duality heavy delusion many many trips many many round trips three purple hearts to you brother you you wear them proudly man they're like badges of courage right <laughs> we all we all got some some wounds from many lives boy wear them proudly humans you may wear them proudly because you are more than a survivor you're a th thriver of waking up on this planet. Yes, you are. And every time that we can recap the day and look back and know that we have super soul powers that can edit the film of today, look at the replays and say, wow, man, I blew my cool there. Man, I wish I had those words back. I really didn't mean to say that to that person. They're my friend. Oh my God, maybe their husband, maybe their wife, maybe their children. How did I let those words? They're like bullets, man. Your voice chakra, woo! The whole universe vibrates with every word that comes out of your mouth. And you know, I keep doing this to get the camera in focus, so don't mind me. I'm just waving to you. Hello, hello. But every word that comes out of our mouth sends a vibration out into this hologram field that we're all daydreaming in, sleeping in the poppy. Some people are kind of, you know, with one eye, kind of, uh, I think I'm waking up here, is a vib 
vibration, bullet, that everyone is affected by, friends. You know kind words. You, you're aware of kind words. You know when someone is authentic or not. You know when somebody is just kind of speaking from their heart or not. You get it instantly. That's why the world is so cynical. Because, because we're so used to this inauthenticity of these words that really have no sincerity behind them, of people that are thinking of something else when they're saying something to you, not even aware of you, not even aware of how special you are. Remember that thumbprint? You are ridiculously special. You are amazingly beyond unique, baby, and you deserve the highest and the best because if you settle for less than what you deserve, you're going to get less than what you settle for. So there's no settling. But a life in a day now is this, you know, replaying the day. It's looking back on the game field. You know, I love being a part of Twitch, and I really take my hat off. And I just rub my bald head like it's a genie, you know, to all you gamers on Twitch. Because at least you're involved in a game. At least you're taking, you know, a side. I guess you want to win that game, right? Some of you are, you know, you're, you, 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 wanna, you don't want to lose more than you want winning. You just don't like losing the game, right? Well, this is the game of life. And this Love Force Revolution channel is the battle of life, right? And hey... Hey, football's on, right? It's football season. That's a battleground. You know, it goes back to the gladiator days. Throw them in the ring. Let's all fill the col Coliseum and really hoot and holler when the guy gets bashed. <laughs> right? So really, though, what, that, what this battle represents, man, is us looking at the game film of today and the sports. How many hours do those guys look at the game films? Man, if you really want to do a little better on the battlefield of life, you look at the review films. You see, you know, how you behaved. You see how you reacted. You see the patterns. You start to realize, oh my God, every single time I'm in that situation, every time I'm with that person, every time I drive to work, every time I'm on the freeway, every time I watch the news, every time I, I look at the opponent that I'm against in the, in the political scene, you know what? I go ballistic. That's fine. We'll call you Ballistic Charlie. Yes, we will. We'll give you Academy Award winning performances every single day. Your, your home is filled with trophies, baby, of really going ballistic because you haven't really reviewed the film from the perspective of that bubbly, champagneing, ever drunk, immortal soul of you, man. We call it the soul hero or the hero up. Or the soul mystic. Or the mystic hero. We call it super soul. We call it Batman. We call it Superman. We call it Catwoman. Superwoman. We call it any of those heroes in the Marvel comic books. We call it, you know, Bilbo Baggins in the Lord of the Rings, right? We call it, we call it the Knight of the Round Table, King Arthur. We talk, we talk about a Mother Teresa maybe here. How about a Mahatma Gandhi, a Nelson Mandela? You know, these people, I swear, they looked at the game film. And they went back on the game film of their life and they said, bejeebies, <laughs> oh, my lights are going on and off. This is great. I think there's some other terrestrial forces in this room with me right now. I really do. And they're playing with all these lights and they're playing with the camera going in and out. They're playing with my mind and they're playing with my heart. And these are the higher terrestrials, <laughs> right? But I swear, they looked at those game films and they said, you know what, I think I could do better. You know, look at that. I didn't really, I wasn't really a nice thing to say and I don't feel so great about it. And I can't hide it and the drinks aren't hiding it anymore. And every time I go into that lousy behavior, I want to drink more and then the drinking makes me just kind of feel more lousy and now I'm in this, you know, this kind of vicious circle. So, uh, I waved the flag. Surrender, help me, the wagon of my life is covered. <laughs> you know, I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> you know, Mark Twain said, you know, Chaucer is dead, Shakespeare is dead, and Homer is dead, and I'm not feeling so good myself. <laughs> and that's why I seek out a happy hour, but what I'm offering to you right now is a new way to do happy hour. 
and why we're going to be online every night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to see if we can recap as a team, as a family soul team, and look at our day and cry on each other's shoulders and, and show our battle scars from the day and the open wound. We're going to see if we can stop the bleeding with some of you. And we're seeing if with some of this divine life support and divine love support can kind of spill over into some of our brothers and sisters that are laying crushed on the battle hill. The hill field of life probably dead drunk because that's the only way that they can deal with it or take a few barbiturates or whatever else you're going to do in this most important day of your friggin' lifetime. Now you take for granted this day? How can you? Oh my God, you know, one of the worst things that we can do, if you're looking at an enemy, you gamers out there, I'll tell you that one, one, one of the most treacherous is taking things for granted. It's taking this precious, this precious moment for granted. It's taking this evening with your loved ones possibly at home for granted. It's taking the opportunities that you had, whether you took advantage of them today or not, for granted. Is taking this friend who's been by your side, but maybe you're not being your best side. Maybe you're your low side, and you think that friend can just take all your dumping and trash talk every day. Well, maybe that's not making you feel so happy either, right? Taking the best friend for granted. Or that statement that comes out of your mouth that kind of maybe can destroy a friendship for a lifetime. One sentence. Can you imagine how fragile this world is really, baby? Hmm? How we hang by a string. When you drive in your car, it takes one person that's not paying attention next to you, and you're done. You know, you're smoked, man. You don't know how many breaths you have left in you, how much sand you have left pouring in this hourglass that really started when you woke up this morning and which will end this evening when you lay your head on that pillar. <laughs> I don't usually say pillar. But these, uh, these terrestrials made me say, Pilla. <laughs> and that's a day. That's a life in a day. And you know, and all those sands are now empty in the hourglass. And if you're lucky, you'll wake up in the morning and you get a whole nother turnover of that hourglass. But in this picture that you see here, I'll move a little bit so you can see it. It's shattered, man. How many dreams were shattered on this planet? Raise your hands. How many, how many hopes became false hopes today? How many times did you get pissed off because you were hoping something would happen and it didn't, right? How many times did your, <laughs> did your, did your hourglass shatter and that precious chi, ki, prana, shakti, energy just spilled out of you? Hmm? How many times did you have doubts today? That's another shattering of your glass. Not to mention that each granule of sand that you have and breasts that you have today were the most precious of any lifetime, baby. All right? So true, says Rich Nar, the triple-hearted warrior of many lifetimes. <laughs> You're my brother in arms. You're my sister in arms. Whoever's going to watch the replay of this, yay! Right? Let's us go to that, baby. Let's drink one of soul happiness on that and sip it down or guzzle it down because the more happiness the ha you have, the more you're going to have. The less you have, the less you're going to have. It's a strange world. And we're under strange laws of these, these universal laws. Boy, and they operate impeccably, you know. So once you know some of these universal laws, you can be, you can be an expert gamer. Mm -hmm. You can be a master gamer. Mm -hmm. You can win the battle of life every single day. Meaning that when you do put your head on the pillar, you can have a little smile on the corners of your mouth and on your face and you feel like you lived your life to the fullest. Pour your heart into it. Give it your all. Hold nothing back, there ain't no fall. Pull your heart into it, give it your all. 
hold nothing back there ain't no fall there's only glory sweet glory sweet glory sweet glory hey give it your all hmm yeah you're gonna feel like that at the end of the day you're gonna have maybe going to the inner worlds a higher inner world my wife Trisha man that girl can sleep she closes her eyes that means she must live a, and I know she does a true heart experience she lives a life of absolute impeccable in integrity so she sleeps deep well I'm a tosser turner I toss and turn and toss and turn and toss and turn and I practice the presence you know now if I'm not going to be sleeping I'm going to be talking to my maker because a life in today <laughs> is to is to make sure that you find some loopholes as WC Field said on his deathbed when he asked for the Bible and they said WC you've never asked for a Bible in your life he says I need it now I'm looking for a loophole <laughs> so I pray I pray and I replay hey that's pretty good I pray and I replay the day so that I can really and here's the tip of how you edit the, the replays how you learn the most from how you just behaved on this battlefield of life you know maybe you left, left a few people stranded out there and you ran the other way called a deserter right maybe you didn't want to engage your heart maybe you just slipped out the back door when the love heated up baby you know the light is very very difficult for people to look at when they're in these kind of dark caverns or taverns of these so-called bars which intoxicate you do you ever notice that the light is rather dim in those places a den of inequity not to knock anyone who's going to find their happy hour in doing that but the lights a little dim and so when you do come across an opportunity in your life and how many hundreds and thousands you had today I don't know if you want to know that number how many opportunities your guardian angel was right in your face uh, loving you holding you crying with you maybe screaming like I'm screaming didn't hear how many times did she save you from that car that could have swerved and got into the consciousness of that person and got him focused for a moment I don't know you want to know maybe you do want to know the numbers that your guardian and the amazing grace and the holy ones and this gift of the universe called unconditional love because you're the most special you're the prince you're the princess you're the president and you got guards around you all the time these are the terrestrials that are with me tonight and they saved you baby from even a worse fate even a more troublesome day if your day was troublesome or they gave you gifts how many did we use how many did we utilize oh my gosh in one day one day all we need is one day people who are on their their deathbed are saying give me one more day give me one more breath Lord I promise I hope that many of them are saying I can do better give me another day heal me Lord so that I can come back and I you know there's a lot of promises and prayers that way <laughs> that's okay if you pray that way but you know we don't want to have to get that desperate and be bartering with unconditional love that way we want to say I love you love I love you love I'm surrendered love thank you for everything in my life love I looked at the replay and I've gone back and I do this little edit to film and I just love the replays each day so that's my hot tip for tonight soul travelers soul victors at the end of each day deep sleepers when you put your head on that pillar at night you know purple star hearts everything you don't see that your soul is winning how can it not win it is it can never lose it's already not it's beyond winning it's it's with the maker of the game of life <laughs> you know if you stop questioning whether you lose or win in the game of love if you st if you keep questioning whether you'll win or lose in the game of life you're gonna go on losing 
So we got to know that we're this winner. And here's the tip. We're going to go back on our day. Think of something right now. Think of a situation, you know. If you got the wherewithal to even look back that far, some people won't even remember what happened this morning or this afternoon. Maybe an hour ago, maybe. It's hard to remember, right? When the mind is so scattered and we're not fully present and pouring our heart into the present moment. And now go back and blast some love from your third chakra, from your heart, from your desperation state, from you as this victor soul, as this soul champion, this amazing being, this essence, evanescence of bubbly happiness, of compassion, of love and joy. There's that spiritual love fantasy game again. I'm telling you, it's the best game in the universe. Works like a charm and go back and love blast every situation today before you go to sleep tonight. Would you give that a go? Don't worry. We're going to get another shot tomorrow night, God willing. And the next night, spirit willing, right? You don't know. This is why a life and a day we're going to have every night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're going to have a wake up with Tom to start the day at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's my goal. And I just take a day at a time. So tomorrow at 7 a.m. I want some people up here on Twitch. Oh man, it's scary, isn't it? Wow. I don't want to get involved in another app. It's not an app. It's just a button away to sign up so you can be on the Love Force channel. So you can be a gamer. So you can now say, I'm, an, I'm in the battle. I'm in the battle with my soul. My soul is the victor in the battle and I want to align with that side against thousands and maybe millions of foes. And taking life for granted is one of the serious ones. Forgetfulness and wasting time, as Shakespeare said, I wasted time, now time wastes me. Look at this hourglass. There it is, I keep covering it up. But maybe so it's more dramatic when I open it up to you. You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> Read my <laughs> lips. <laughs> Feel my vibe. Not my vibe. I don't try I don't want to even be here, man. I want to be in my soul. I want to let my soul do the driving now. I'm soul driven. Spirit owns me and I'm soul driven. Soul owned. Alright? I don't I just I got busted for LUI long time ago, living under the influence of this HD heavy delusion, man. And I gave up my license to drive the car of my life. I handed it over to my designated driver, my soul driver, baby. Yeah, it's really good stuff, isn't it? Or am I the only one to think so? It's all right, because I'm hanging out with these higher terrestrials. <laughs> and I know how they think, because I want to I wanna think like them, those higher beings. Call them what you want, man. But they're all around you. And that's who is in the battlefield of life with you and in the battle every day. They're the one that's going to try to catch your tongue before that you uh, fork tongue. <laughs> before you say something that isn't sincere and beneficial for our world and for this person. Right? Don't waste your ammunition of words uh, and shoot people down. Another one of these foes in this mystic hero or soul hero or hero up game, I swear, is gossip. Now we're going to get into all that stuff. But for now and tonight. <laughs> hey, what's that nice went on? Oh, you guys are so fickle with me tonight. Why don't we just go back and edit one scene? How's that, baby doll? <laughs> They're blinking. The lights are bleak. Go back and edit one scene, okay, today. And put so much love in that scene that that scene, I swear, because it really is love underneath the chaos and the surface of life, is going to make your day so much richer, so much more fulfilling. And if you start feeling the energy of that, go to another scene and love blast it. And love blast yourself so that you have more courage tomorrow to be more aware that you are in this battle 
of life every day. That all these, these, these villains and heroes and foes and dark shadows and go goblins and ghosts and stuff are really, they're psychological for most of us. They're emotional, right? They may exist on the inner worlds. They may not exist in the inner world. But these are states of mind, baby. And so it is not just an outer battle, but it is an inner one, more vicious. And I haven't even mentioned the spiritual culprits. Lust, anger, greed, pride, a sense of false sense of, 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 the, of importance, you know, from the ego standpoint. Ego, edging God out. All right. So, all right. Happy hour. Happy hour to you, my friend. I'm going to help you love blast because that's how I've been training to do so I have a little bit of soul ammo. And I always keep a stash of that soul ammo. So I watch my words. I watch my behavior. behavior. I'm the best editor of the film because I make more boo-boos in a day than probably any of you. And you know what I do too before I start today? We'll talk about this on my 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time wake-up show. I forgive myself for all the stupid things I'm going to do that day. In the morning. <laughs> and I'm very sincere about that. Because I know this, this human nature of mine is built, is built defective. It's fallible. It makes mistakes and for a really good reason. That the soul hero wins the day and edits the film. Yay! And we can actually have an evening tonight, baby, where we're giving quality time to those special friends in our own house. It's just walls and then there's a the universe. There's a roof and then there's a universe. So we're all on this planet in our little chicken coop houses thinking that we can, you know, kind of live our own existence when we're all stripped the house down, which hurricanes and floods and fires do. And we're all there stark naked with ashes on our face, you know, struggling for our existence. Brothers and sisters that need each other in this battle of life game. <laughs> Dang it. Darn it. I'm having so much fun waking myself up. Ever you need some cold water, some jump in the cold ocean, cold showers, hanging out with some very joyful, happy people, you know, show up to some good environment when the last thing that you want to do is do that, and the first thing you want to do is to go into those dimly lit places. It seems more comfortable there. And nobody's going to push you. No one's going to stretch you. No one's going to, you know, help you to realize there's more. There's more about you, baby. So, you going to join me? It's a life in a day. This is a life in a day. The battle of life, love, force, revolution on the gamer, the best gamer Twitch server in the universe, the whole universe is a battle of life until we win our freedom in the spirit bliss intoxication <laughs> that is ever new and going on forever and forever. All right, all right. So this is T O M, and we're going to sign out by saying, singing some ohms because that kind of wipes the slate clean too. So let's ohm for the day we had and the day you had and the day our brothers and sisters had on this hologram world this this space station traveling through space at tremendous speeds whirling in galaxies upon galaxies of dream manifestations from a great mind the, the one who's creating the game of life and you imagine that so as Shakespeare said I don't really care how things work in the universe. I just want to get into the mind of the one that's creating this show. Inhale the breath. Oh, boy.
destroy the demons and the, and the goblins of the psychological foes within us. They, they, they just go away when we chant the Om. Om. It's like a conch shell, you know. It's like the, the, the horns they blow before battle. One more, please. Um, you know my friend I love you so much you can believe that or not I believe it I know it to be so I love you so so very much come on love force revolution is on baby Good night. See you at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rich, I don't know if I turned this thing off. I don't know if I stopped it. This is going crazy. Oh wow. Absolutely crazy. That's going crazy. Oh, you didn't and stop it. <laughs>